thank you again for joining me. And I wanted to share with you some exciting friend mail slash giveaway mail that I won on a giveaway from Emily, my friend here on YouTube that I met. Um, she is uh, the candle nurse. I will have her channel linked below. Please go ahead and follow her and watch her video. She's very informative and knowledgeable about all things scent home fragrance. Um, she has amazing knowledge about different candle brands and I just found her channel one day and binged her videos and I just love how she presents herself and her collection and opinions about home fragrance and she's just a really wonderful person to follow and watch and she has decided to go ahead and branch out to her own candle wax um wax melting uh, business and I have never melted wax before. I she, you know, had told me about her endeavor and business coming and it's now brought to fruition and you know, I was like I definitely now need to go look into getting a candle warmer. Get sorry, I'm still new to this terminology. Getting a wax melt um warmer and trying some of your wax melts because I definitely want to support her and help her and bring, uh, you know, viewers to her um, channel and her business. So thank you so much, Emily. I couldn't believe I won part of this giveaway. It was She was doing like a wax melt giveaway as well as um, a candle giveaway. And, you know, I was just watching her videos and commented and I won. Um, she picked multiple winners. So... She's just too kind and generous. And I just got my box today. Um, I'm not, I just opened it. So I'm unwrapping everything now inside. I didn't um, do it yet. And so I just had won the candle. I'm sorry, I keep saying candle. The wax melt giveaway, but she included candles in this. That's like way too kind. And thank you so much. So I can't believe that. Um, let me... And she is from Arizona. I used to live in Arizona. But uh, she, you know, made sure everything was going to be wrapped all well and uh, not get affected by the heat or anything. And <laughs> I love this. Thank you so much, Emily. <laughs> it is the Goose Creek Iced Sweet Tea. One of my favorite candles and scents that I have multiple of because I just like, was like, I love iced tea scents. I love sweet tea. And I just ordered a few of these when it first released and I was like I definitely want more and she just like read my mind tea leaves lemon zest honey and sugar it's just like not super sugary like the homeworks um ice sweet tea this is just very much a Lipton tea fresh with the lemon note to it uh, so good so thank you so much i love having another one of these um and that's not all of course there's another candle oh my gosh oh emily this is one i have been like always putting in my cart to buy and then i just never pulled the trigger on it oh my gosh i'm so glad i could try this hold on let me get the tape Oh, I'm so happy I could try this now. It's the Yankee Candle Plumberry Crepe Cone. Yeah, Plumberry Crepe Cone. Uh, they don't put the notes on these, no. But it sounds right up my alley. It is gourmand and berry. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy to try this one. Oh, that smells so good. It's. Uh, I think it's better than berry waffle cone. Mm, just saying. At least on cold, because I don't know, the Berry Waffle Cone from Bath & Body Works this year just seemed to be lacking on the cone note to me. I don't know. Oh, but you get like the berries and you get that creaminess and that gourmand bakery note. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I'm so happy to have this one too. Thank you. You like know me so well. Um, so that, where's the candles? And oh a big package here I don't want to drop anything so yes she wanted to make sure it got nice oh my gosh you packed this full oh it's, it's 
smells divine. Like everything, all the scents are hitting me at once. Um, oh, she packed a Scentsy car scent. I've never tried anything car home fragrance, so this will be perfect. Watermelon tangerine. That sounds so great for summer. Mm, I could sort of smell it through there. And then, oh, another one. A pineapple mango. Another perfect summer scent. Oh, I'm going to hang one of these right up in the car right now. And then, oh. So I think these are like vendor waxes that she um, was giving away. I don't think this is including any of hers just yet. But this is um, L3 Waxy Wonders. And I've seen like other YouTubers and stuff talk about these um, vendor wax. I'm sorry. I, I like totally blank. Vendor wax um, sellers. And this is L3. I've definitely heard of them. This is Lavender Toasted Mallow Vanilla Lace. No scent notes, but it's... Oh. So it's like a solid wax. So I don't really know. Oh, it's scoopable wax. So I think, um, so I still have to like learn all about this wax melting. I think you, um, you know, have the cubes or the uh, clamshells and you pop them into the wax warmer and let them melt and the scent fragrances the air for like a couple days. So this one you just scoop out, but this is like a lot of wax and it smells really good. It smells like you get the lavender. So it's like, herbal but fresh and clean smelling not like too soapy or too astringent because I think it's that yeah marshmallow vanilla note oh that smells really nice another one here raspberry jam and beach marshmallow cookies Ooh, this is from lavender and speckle scents raspberry jam beach marshmallows our version of beach night sugar cookie royale and marshmallow clouds oh that sounds beautiful i'm not gonna open all of these to smell because there's so much in here but yes some of these she is getting me all set up for wax melting like i was trying not to go there because i was like that's just another thing i would probably start collecting and hoarding and i just shouldn't get into like something else but now i have to i just have to. <laughs> so this is Scentsy Snowberry. So I've watched like Sir Kong's mom and you know all about her Scentsy and stuff and like she had me almost placing a Scentsy order or starting a Scentsy club or whatever they are and I was just like I just had to like stop and walk away because I'm like you don't need it Lizzie. You don't need it. <laughs> but Cookie Cottage, also from L3. This is Sugar Cookie Royal, Danish Butter Cookies, Sugared Shortbread, Vanilla Wafer, Vanilla Cookies, Sweet Bakery Dough. That. They're not like melted or soft or anything, so I think they shipped fine, even though we're, we are hitting some higher temperatures here, but not crazy like I'm sure in Arizona. Um, waxy taffy, tubbo taffy. Ooh, another scoopable wax, it looks like. Let's smell this one. It's fresh strawberries, pink sugar, cotton candy, and cupcake at Tiffany's. Ooh, it has glitter. That's so fun. Mm. Yeah, that smells good. It's like you get the strawberry note. It reminds me of like a childhood, like strawberry shortcake or something. Oh, beautiful. Emily, you really like or too much that is this is so generous of you uh oh here's one of hers the candle nurse elevate your space nourish your soul that is her like little business tag can uh motto this is mia mac dressed in black tobacco leaves vanilla tonka bean pink sugar and sugar cookie royale and she puts like the date the poor day oh and she does like cute little molds Oh, that smells so good. Mm. Oh, you get that tobacco leaf. And normally I'm not like into manly scents, but I wouldn't call this manly at all because you get that vanilla and sugar. Oh, it just smells like warm and comforting. And like, I think this would be a really nice fall or winter scent too, especially. Oh, yeah, that's Mia Mac dressed in black. So I think she said a lot of her names and scent names um she derived from like family members and uh you know friends that have always just supported her in this um her love for candles and home fragrance um this is waxy wonders cobalt beach glass honeydew watermelon that one oh, so many Ooh, 
What are these? So these are different, like, looks like wax tarts. Wax tart. The bathing garden. So a bunch of different ones. Oh, so many. And, and that's, like, still only half of it. Um, here's another one of hers. Ooh, I can't wait to try this one. Forgotten cherry, bitter almond, black cherry, cherry liqueurs, jasmine sandback, vanilla, tonka bean, clove, cedar, patchouli, vetiver. I know she loves her cherry scents, but not, like, firecracker pop cherry. More like lost Tom Ford's lost cherry. Oh, and this is nice. It's, ooh, it's like that perfect perfumey cherry nose. So it's kind of dark and more like nighttime not that like super bright fruity like artificial cherry syrup oh that smells so good emily oh oh i definitely like that one a lot another scentsy one this is dumbo which i don't know what the scent notes are but that looks so cute dumbo here oh my gosh you like I can't believe how many you put in here. Morning beignet, warm fried dough, rolled in sugar. She's going to have like my whole house smelling delicious. Apple cider donut, fried apple donuts, rolled in cinnamon and sugar. This is K scent, scented melts, K-A-E. Very nice. Uh, Midway spectacular. Oh, this is also wax tart. Um, Midway spectacular. So cute. Oh my gosh. Another wax tart one. Lemon tea party. Oh my gosh. This is huge. Right up my alley. That type of lemon gourmand bakery. Scentsy wild cherry and Sakura. Ooh. Like a cherry blossom. And we'll hear some more of hers. The cellar. Mold apples. Fresh fig. Rosy nuances of pink pepper. Warm musk and cedar wood. Let's try this one. Ooh, I get that pink pepper note. You do get that, but it's nice with the rose. A little bit of the apple note in the background, but I definitely get that pink pepper. It reminds me of um, Molten Brown's Pink Pepper Pod Shower Gel. I just like used up one earlier this year, and I really like that. This one is X's Lemon Dream Rich Buttery Pound Cake Lemon Zest Sugary Iced Sugar, sugary icing drizzle, lemon chiffon, whipped cream, sugar cookie royale. Oh my gosh, this is like a dupe of iced lemon pound cake, but it actually, the lemon smells stronger and you get more of that pound cake. No, mm. yeah, ooh, I could just like eat that right now. Let me just share this. Spread the love. I don't know which. Super, super tarts wax. Blackberry jam, zucchini bread, and toasted malo. I just want to smell this. I can smell like zucchini. I get the blackberry, but almost like the zucchini, like vegetable, vegetal, veg, vegetal quality to it. <laughs> if I could talk. I'm just so overwhelmed by all of this. And last, another one of her, hers uh, is... Come on, Sammy. Smoky vanilla embers, sandalwood, cedarwood, leather, rich amber, palo santo, and creamy vanilla. Oh, that is the palo santo. Yes, I'm like, what does that remind me of? Yep, the palo santo. But you get the leather, like the rich leathery note. Mm, that smells warm and inviting as well. Oh my gosh, Emily, thank you so, so much. This is incredible. I'm like, so appreciative and flabbergasted by how generous you are and how I'm so happy that we met here on YouTube and we share our love of candles and home fragrance and home scents and I'm so happy that you are embarking on this great business opportunity for yourself and your family and doing your own wax melts. I think you are perfect for creating scents and you just seem to know and understand and get set notes that work together that mix well and what would bring like the perfect ambiance to any home and I'm just so lucky to have met you and that you generously sent this huge box of wax 
for me to start my wax journey into melting and trying it out for the first time. I'm so excited. I, yeah, you might have started <laughs> a downward spiral for me. Um, and the candles, oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you so, so much. Please go check out Emily's channel, The Candle Nurse. Once again, it'll be linked down below and give her wax melts a look at. Um, if you guys melt wax or haven't, like maybe we could try it together for our first time. I'll definitely let you know once I uh, start trying some of these scents and letting you know my experience with Mac with wax melting. And thank you guys again. And thank you, Emily, so, so much. Okay, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.